Hello and welcome back everyone and on today's challenge brief history lesson we're looking at an OG heavy hitter that's right we're looking at Darrell Taylor who made his MTV debut on the 11th season of Road Rules called Campus Crawl and in between his Road Rules season and his MTV challenge debut he won the NorCal Golden Gloves and the San Francisco Golden Gloves which is a very impressive feat and then two months later he made his MTV challenge debut on the seventh season of the challenge called Gauntlet. Now, on the Road Rules team and in his rookie season, he performed well throughout that whole season and he didn't see a single elimination or gauntlet. He made it to the finals, ran the finals with his Road Rules team and took home a challenge championship in his first season. In his rookie season, he's a challenge champion. Super impressive, but he was not done, not even in the slightest as he was back for the next season of the challenge, season eight called Inferno. And early on, he won a lifesaver, didn't have to use it. He was even nominated for an Inferno game later on in that season. However, he was not put into an elimination that whole season. Back-to-back -back seasons of no eliminations. Back-to-back -back final appearances. And he was a back-to-back -back challenge champ. That's right. In his second season, he's a two-time challenge champion. And it's super impressive. And going into his third challenge season, which was season 10 called Inferno 2, this is a different scenario than his first two seasons, as his first two seasons, Road Rules ran a route on the real world. I mean, they only lost five members that first season, Darrell's first season, and then they only lost two members in his second season that he ran. And in this one, the badasses looked like they were going to run a route on the good guys team, on Darrell's good guys team. As heading into the finals, Darrell's good guys team only had four members heading into that finals, and it was Darrell, Jamie, Landon, and The Miz, and the Badasses had a strong team with CT, Derek, Abram, Rachel, and Veronica, just naming a few, but in that finals, the good guys win. That's right, Darrell Taylor was a three-time challenge champion in his third season run, but he was back for the 12th season of the challenge called Fresh Meat, where he got to pick Aviv third overall. They won one daily challenge. They looked like they weren't going to see a single elimination for Darrell's fourth season in a row. However, they were put into an elimination right before the finals. They had to go up against Derek and DM Brown, and they won against Derek and DM. And Darrell does what Darrell does when he hits a final, and that is win. That's right, Darrell won his fourth finals in a row in his fourth finals appearance in a row and he won against Kenny and Tina and Wes and Casey making him a four-time challenge champ in his fourth season I will say bar none no one has ever had a start to their challenge career like Darrell has but after that fourth win Darrell took a six season three-year hiatus off from the challenge and we didn't see Darrell back on the challenge until season 18 called The Ruins. And this was going to be a much different game and a much different challenge than what Darrell had been used to in his first four seasons as he was put into an elimination early and often. He went to an elimination in episode four against Danny and won. He went up in elimination in episode seven against Kahuta and won. And his trajectory was going up and up and up. It looked like he could see another finals appearance, another challenge win. However, in episode eight, that's when Brad got plaster drunk, messy drunk, got in Darrell's face, started putting his hands on Darrell, and Darrell took off his golden gloves, took his bare knuckles to Brad's eye and face, giving him a nice shiner, making him bleed. And because they were in an altercation together, both Brad and Darrell, were eliminated and disqualified from the ruins in episode 8, marking the first time that Darrell had not reached a finals in his challenge career. And this was a bit of a turning point in Darrell's challenge career. Let's just keep going on with his brief history as he was back for the 19th season of the challenge called Fresh Me 2 where he could pick first overall and he picked Cara Maria Sorbello. You may have heard of her. And unlucky for them, Kenny and Laurel won the first daily challenge, sent them straight into an elimination and exile against Jill and Pete. And they were sent home in episode one, marking the worst finish in a challenge to date for Durrell. And after that loss, that led to a 10 season, seven year hiatus, as we didn't see Durrell back on another challenge season until season 29 called Invasion of the Champs, where he was part of the twist that season where a handful of champs were brought in to shake up the game a third of the way through the season. And he came into the game with such challenge legends like Bananas, CT, Cara Maria, and Laurel, just to name a few. 
And he saw three total champ eliminations that season. He won against Zack in a pole wrestle. He won against Bananas in the Balls In elimination. And then he had to go into a final elimination right before the finals against CT and his new dad bod in the not so fast elimination. CT was able to win against Darrell, sending Darrell home right before the finals. And fun fact, CT won that season. I think either one, if either one of them won, they were going to win that season, hands down. But Darrell was unable to win, get into another finals. It just seemed like the finals were eluding Darrell after his first four seasons. But lucky for us, we didn't have to wait a whole bunch of years or a whole bunch of seasons to see Darrell back on the season. And he was back on the next challenge season, season 30, called Dirty 30. However, unlucky for Darrell, he was unable to win in that first daily challenge as Corey won in that first daily challenge and he got to pick three players to send right to the redemption house and he decided to send in Darrell, Devin, and Shane into the redemption house and Darrell stayed there until he was able to have an opportunity to win himself back into the game as he was going to play in the redemption game in episode 5 called Man Overboard where there was a floating platform and you wrestled trying to throw your the opponent off the platform to where whoever hit the water first would be eliminated. Now Darrell won the first heat against Devin, but in the final heat against Tony, that's when these two rock hard men were just like at a stalemate. They were pushing each other, pulling each other, and then all of a sudden both were falling off the platform and unlucky for Darrell, his foot hit the water first, sending him out of this game, letting Tony win himself back into this game and Darrell was out in episode 5. Darrell has not participated on a main season of the challenge to date. However, he did make an appearance as a mercenary in season 31 called Vendettas where he went up against Nelson. They were in a stalemate for over an hour and TJ decided it was a draw, letting Nelson stay in the game but unable to receive a grenade. However, he did receive Darrell's respect as he was holding on and fighting for over an hour to stay in this game. He loves that tenacity. We also saw Darrell participate in the spin-off season of the challenge called Champs vs. Pros where he made it all the way to the finals and he even got to run the finals with his once Fresh Meat 2 partner, Cara Maria. They got redemption from their episode 1 elimination and they turned it into a challenge win as they both won $55,000 for that challenge win. And Darrell Taylor's final stat line is 8 seasons ran, 4 final appearances, four-time challenge champ. He holds a record for the most challenges won in a row. He also holds the second all-time in challenge wins overall right behind Bananas and he's won a grand total of $240,000 in grand prize money. But what do you think about Darrell Taylor? Let me know that in the comment section below. Do you stand Darrell Taylor or could you not stand Darrell Taylor when he was on the challenge? Let me know that too. And would you like to see him back on a challenge season? I know he has a ton of stuff going on as he owns a gym, he's a personal trainer, he has family, friends, and all that stuff going on. However, I loved his turnout on Invasion of the Champs. I think he has a lot left in the tank. He is still in fantastic shape. I'd love to see him back on the challenge. But what do you think? Let me know that in the comment section below. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really, really soon with more challenge videos, more challenge content, more challenge brief histories, X on the Peak, Peak of Love, uh, reviews and recap, and more stuff coming out gradually. But thank you so much for watching, and until then, peace.